Meet the dogs. Artist James Mellick lovingly sculpted them from wood at his studio near Columbus, Ohio. I think the eyes of my dogs brought them to life. Like his work, James' artistic career is one of evolution. He started as a painter, and for much of his life, he taught at the college level, but then was drawn to the secrets of wood. There's all these little reward stops all along the way when you're working with wood. The grain, the unexpected grain, I, I likened it to skin to where when you put your first oil on there, you can sort of see the depth as, as the oil goes in deeper into the wood and brings that grain out. Often, the inspiration comes from the wood itself. I like the time I found the bullet fragment in one of the, one of the uh, shoulders of one of the dogs as I was sanding. And uh, so I just left that, the bullet fragment in. A bullet fragment may seem out of place, but take a closer look at these dogs. They are all part of James Mellick's Wounded Warrior Dogs exhibit. But I think our life continues to be so comfortable that we, don't, we forget what the cost of war was. And so the purpose of these dogs is to remind people what the cost of them. And we can do it, I can do it through the dog because I, I think, I swear there are probably some people who like dogs more than they do humans. The originating idea was to represent their human counterparts, and their handlers. When James displayed his wounded warrior dogs at the Ohio State Fair in 2015, the people's reaction was overwhelming. It was the Ohio State Fair, it was People's Choice Award, after the, the, the jurors totally overlooked it, uh -huh. the, the people came through. Encouraged by the public's reaction, James added a few more dogs, and in the fall of 2016, he took the exhibition to the Art Prize in Grand Rapids, Michigan. This 19-day event is billed as the most attended public art competition on the planet. Again, the public's reaction was overwhelming. Let's Did you see. see the tears? Oh, yeah. 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 I'm not sure I got any, but... No, yeah. no. I, I, I mean, that was something which I was totally unexpecting because it was the first time I had been with the work. And so there was something that happened that, took, that it had a life of its own it took on. And I think, uh, man, I think if any art that can do that, that's powerful. Standing with the exhibit, James, too, was often moved to tears by the stories he heard. In, re in reference to the flag drape box in the middle, it says, said, I'm a flight attendant and I bring those bodies home. A, a young man who not, had been out, he was sobbing, he was in tears. I had my arms around this young fellow. He was, a, he was an Iraqi veteran and dog handler. As word spread about the exhibit, the lines grew. 400,000 people attended the art prize. Those who didn't speak with James personally spoke with their vote, awarding James and his wounded warrior dogs the $200,000 People's Choice Award. And this whole project has been God-driven, God and uh, the people of Art Prize have completed the project with everything that I saw. It was very, it was right on. Thank you very much. You know, this time in my life, you know, going on 70, this is, um, wow. When I did this, I, I, I believed at the time that I was doing the most purposeful and the most significant art project of my lifetime, of 40 years. And the response has been such that overwhelming, I did not expect. And this is why I think, to me, it's God-driven. And that's where this story might end, except... These are just the, the very the very beginning stages of, of, of carving them. James is working on one more dog to represent the psychological wounds of war. At first I was concerned about the big color difference here between the right and the left side of this of this dog's face. And I said, well, wait a minute, you know, that's, that suggests a split personality or, or you know, some, some inner turmoil. One black dove and one white dove, and that will show the, you know, the idea of a bipolar or some, some spirit conflict between a, you know, the, a good spirit and a dark spirit. When it's complete, James would like to find a permanent home for the exhibit. You know, if we could 
have it in Washington, D.C., somewhere in a National Gallery, it's the Smithsonian Raymond Gallery, or somewhere like that. Indeed, our nation's capital would be a fitting home for this memorial. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.